The Rand trading 7.32. That's after quite a volatile week last week because we had it hitting 7.40 right at the beginning of the week. And then also on Friday heading back to 7.40. So a bit of stability coming back through this morning. Yes, hi, morning Stephen. Um, the Rand really benefited last week from some dollar weakness. Uh, and I think this morning, you know, with Asian markets up and, and all seemingly quiet on the data front, uh, as you say, we've come back and, and hovering near the 7.30 level once again. Of course, we do have a public holiday in the United Kingdom today. So do you think that trade would be fairly muted today for the, for the currency? Uh, probably, Stephen. Uh, we're not expecting much depreciation today, although we do see that the RAND's weaker bias for this week is once again in place. So we are expecting it to weaken further this week. Well, where would you expect the RAND to weaken to? And what would, what would be the drivers of that weakness? Well, Stephen, we have quite a bit of uh, data both locally and internationally this week. Locally, we're expecting the data to reinforce expectations of a rate cut next week. And so we think that that's going to see some weakness come into the currency. Uh, U.S. growth revisions on Friday, and they seem to, to have uh, been well received by the markets. Of course, the market was looking for 1.4% growth for second quarter, came in at 1.6%. And of course, we had Ben Bernanke also speaking uh, at the U.S. Fed meeting. Uh, how's the market viewed that? What sort of effect did that have on the, on the dollar and then by implication on the rand? Well, Stephen, the dollar did weaken initially when that uh, downward revision in GDP came out. But I think Bernanke's speech really helped to soothe market concerns. He reiterated that the Fed stands ready to provide uh, further monetary accommodation. He also said that he doesn't see a double dip recession, although he does acknowledge that the economic recovery in the, in the US does appear to be weakening. So I, I think markets really took that to heart and, and the dollar came back slightly after his speech. Um, of course, uh, we had growth figures last week. We also had um, uh, inflation numbers that came out quite benign. You, you talked about the MPC next week. What is your view also at Santa Bank that rates will be cut next week or is that just the market consensus? Well, we're in line with, with market consensus this time, Stephen. We're expecting a 50 basis cut next week and then a hold through to October of next year. And then we see the beginning of another tightening cycle. Of course, uh, going forward in the week, we also have PMI coming out globally on Wednesday, non-farm payrolls on Friday, which will be a big one, I'm sure, for the markets. Just looking at the PMI, though, because our PMI is under 50, or it was in July. In June, uh, it was also below 50, around 48. Do you think we could see any improvements in that PMI? Do you think we, we might still be stuck below that 50 point? Uh, Stephen, I, I think that the risk is certainly that the PMI will come out below the 50 level again. The RAND was still quite strong in August and, and we also saw the beginning of some strike activity. So I think it would be surprising if the PMI showed a, a significant recovery.